keep it real on this channel and she said yeah the needle's too big to go on your arm i said too big here's the hair we're about to make butter it's it's milk it's buttermilk every my brain came out so yeah today's monday i have a uh doctor's appointment um i go to my OBGYN at 245 because i'm having my annual testing um well not even annual because i get it multiple times in a year but um uh we're, we we keep it real on this channel y'all i don't understand why whenever i put the heat gun on the oil begins to do this i don't i haven't i haven't understood that and it bothers me but i don't know a way to stop it I don't know I don't know why it does that necessarily and it don't do it on every one of them but whatever um we keeps it real on this channel so um if um you doing to do in the sheets or but I don't know wherever you do it at you need to be getting tested whether you're in a relationship or not y'all need to be getting tested and it's not about not um trusting your partner or whatever it's just about quite literally doing it on the regular because you just never know like you never know what you could come in contact with not even on the say that your partner cheating or un unloyal to you or whatever you just never know what you could come in contact with you never know so i'm all for um health is wealth all the way around in all aspects so um I, I get tested today and then i'm also looking to get put on a different like i'm finna i think i'm finna try the birth control shot and i'm only telling y'all this because like the whole point of my channel is to like document my baby hair look a mess it's to like document like my life and stuff like that to help um um other women um with their journey of life of just everything so here's what's tea i was i started taking birth control pills when i was 16 because i suffer from like very severe cramps throwing up heavy like it's just I, like it's terrible so i started taking birth control when i was 16 to regulate it because i was literally in um driver's ed and i stepped away to go to the bathroom and i passed out in the bathroom from the pain and i had to call my daddy to come and get me and take me to the doctor's office so i didn't i stopped taking birth control in 2020 in like november of 2020 and i had stopped it because i was like i've been on this for four years my body like it had gotten down to the science of mine would start on wednesday end on saturday and i knew every month <sighs> I, I, I had gotten it down to a science. Like, I knew when it was going to start, when it was going to end, do, do, do. Even outside of having to use the app. I mean, using the app. I used the app to tra track it or whatever. Just to, like, you never know. But I never. it started on the same day. Ended on the same day. Every month for four years. But then I was like, dang, I've been on it for four years. Let me try to wean myself off of it. Like, well, not wean myself off of it. But let me stop taking it so I can. Because, uh birth control can have long-term effects to fertility at least that's what i've been told so not that i'm trying to have kids right now but we're talking long-term effects and i was thinking that like you know you be on birth control for a while it takes a minute for it to leave your system or whatever but when i got off when i when i got off y'all gotta think about it i got on birth control at 16 so at the start not, like I'm puberty. This is puberty for me. I'm just now getting into the emotions of a teenager for real, for real, experiencing that or whatever, blah blah blah. But the birth control halted all of that. Like I didn't really experience PMSing. Um, my cramps had subsided. Um, the flow got better. I wasn't like I went from seven days to five days. Like, um, but when I got off in 2020, I felt like I was feeling all of the raging hormones of a teenager. Like, I couldn't control my emotions. I couldn't whatever. And the, the it didn't start off coming back right away. Uh, as far as the cramps. Like, my cycle, I never stopped. But, my uh, not never stopped as if it was a, but as if I never had a month without one. Is what I'm saying. And my cramps were, they gradually started to get worse. So, then, towards the end, I think, of 2021, I tried to get back on them. And then, um, 
a little bit of this year but i was getting terrible at remembering to take the pill i was getting terrible at like what times i was taking them and like whatever blah 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 and even on them it just still wasn't helping my pain like and i think that's part of the reason why like my back is be so bad be so down bad and my um boobs be on another level like it just be terrible so i'm finna i'm going in today to not only get tested but to look at other birth control options and i'm thinking about going for the shot this time and i know uh one of the side effects of the shot is weight gain however i'm i'm not necessarily i'm not gonna be upset if i get weight gain so yeah y'all i'm leaving the appointment now my appointment was for 245 it's 324 so it went by really quickly or whatever um but uh hold on but um yeah anyway so here's what's t the t is i i didn't know that like the way the way the depo shot works is you get the pers like you, you they fill the script you have to go pick up the shot from the pharmacy and then bring it back and let them get you the shot i didn't know all of that so they had to put the prescription in and i have to go whenever it gets filled i have to go pick it up and then if it's filled before five i can come back before five and get the shot but i'm probably just gonna come back tomorrow because okay y'all so um i'm leaving the uh place now i did get my toes done i ended up just getting orange gel Oops. i ended up just getting orange gel on my toes but um i didn't get my nails done because i was gonna have to wait and i was willing to wait but then he just like he went from saying 10 minutes to being like I don't know the time just kept going up but he was really cool about it and i actually really love going to that place because the hospitality is like top tier i didn't get a pedicure i just literally got a color change but the woman like she took her time on shaping my toes like she did her diddy let me see if i can show y'all while i'm at a red light like she did her diddy on my legs so my toes are orange now and it's like yay but now i need to go find some like press-ons or something and while i was sitting there i was honestly thinking maybe i shouldn't get my nails done but i was already there and if it had have went like back to back i would have went ahead and got them done because um i'm actually kind of really enjoying like i i love my press-ons like i enjoy press-ons more now than i do like actually getting a full set so yeah y'all so i'm back home I done picked up the prescription and all of that jazz. Went to the store. Woo -woo -woo -woo. I didn't find any nails. I'm I'm also sleepy, so I'm trying to hurry up so I can take me a little nap before my daddy get home. Talking about he wanna do some damn paperwork. So I'm trying to hurry up. I'm about to take me a little power nap. But uh I just got a pair of these. I'm low-key thinking these are the exact same color that I had last time. But I think the other ones that I had are a little darker. I didn't find, these are the other orange ones that I have, but these are way too long for just some regular degular shit. But um, I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna put some French tip press-ons on and my toes not gonna match. It doesn't matter. I don't really care about matching toes that much, but it would have been a cute vibe. So I ended up only getting two pillows because these two pillows i can use when i come back home i wasn't in the mood to buy the two big pillows that i need because then when i got back home with them i wouldn't have anything to do with them so i'm just going to take the two i'm either not going to take four pillows because i never use them anyway i never be using them anyway i just be putting them on my bed for extra fluff so i'm either going to take these two these are the pillows i'm talking about i'm either going to take them two big pillows or I'm just not gonna take, I'm not, I'm not gonna take them at all. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bring my body pillow for sure. And I think that's it. And I'm just not gonna worry about having four pillows cause I don't be laying on all of them anyway. So yeah, that's that. And then I also got two 
of these bins and then one uh, of it's a drawer and then I got one big one of these even though it doesn't have wheels on it or a handle and the one that did was way bigger than this one because this one in here is a 40 gallon just like this one over here the one that had a handle and walmart was a 50 gallon it was huge and it was just like what's the point of getting an even bigger bin like i'm not trying to get a bigger bin to fit all my shit i'm trying to fill out my shit in the bin that i have so whatever fits in that bin that i have is what i'm bringing not trying to get a bigger bin to bring more stuff you get what i'm saying same so since my clothes and stuff are going to go in here and i want to be able to hang my clothes up directly into my closet i'm about to spray the inside of this with lysol i'm about to spray the crap out of this with lysol and let it just sit and dry or whatever so sleepy so I'm about to check my purse before I have a mental breakdown and I got my old bonnet the old logo bonnet on because the old brand bonnet on because um my hair dirty I'm about to check my purse before I have a breakdown but I'm pretty sure I threw my retainer away somewhere because it's nowhere to be found. For whatever reason, I wore it out of the house today because I was thinking I wasn't going to be eating while I was out or whatever. But then I ended up getting that cookie, so I ended up making a stop. And, um,. Yeah. So, my retainer is in somebody's trash. And I don't remember where I threw away what stuff. So, there's that. I do have my old one. This one. That was, um... And it fits. Kind of. It's a little tight, but I'm wondering if I continue to wear it with my teeth shift and adjust to it. So we're going to see. But this is my retainer from last year when I first had gotten fitted for a clear retainer. And essentially it fits. It's a little extra tight right here. But I'm wondering if I leave it on for a while. Will I adjust to the pain? And I think I will. Okay, y'all. So technically, I'm damn near I'm damn near all packed up. Um really all that's left for me to pack is like shoes. As y'all can see. I'm leaving majority of my closet. But that bin that I have is full. Don't get me wrong. And I didn't do the whole I'm leaving summer clothes packing winter. I mean leaving I'm didn't do the whole leaving winter clothes. I'm only gonna pack summer clothes thing only because I don't really have clothes that are like winter, summer only. Um and I could wear a hoodie outside during the summertime so yeah but i am gonna be home in like two weeks for a weekend or whatever because my niece's birthday is on the fourth well i don't know i'm gonna try to come home it really just depends it really just depends but i'm gonna try to come home so um 
yeah the only thing i have left to pack i need to pack shoes wise i need to pack those booties with the gold heel i need to pack my black pair of heels my reeboks my forces my nike air maxes my black tennis shoes wherever they are i can't pinpoint them up here a pair of wedges and my rain boots and that's it um the band that had my the band that had my uh whatchamacallit sandals in it is already in there i packed the small suitcase already with my towels my sheets and my um shower curtain oh i didn't buy a shower liner y'all so i forgot to cut the camera on before i dropped my little brother off because um we were moving kind of fast but i just dropped him off at school and now i'm on the way to um it's 7 31 and i'm on the way to ups because i'm gonna hit that up first and i'll get there at 7 44 so i'll have to sit um i'll be there in about 10 minutes so i'll have to sit out there for a little bit before i can go in but after i leave, leave ups i'm gonna go straight to the doctor's office and get this shot my dad ended up cooking breakfast this morning so ooh, just ran that light my dad ended up cooking breakfast this morning so that was a plus he made breakfast burritos so i ate one before i left because i didn't want to be too sluggish because i'm trying to get back into the habit of eating breakfast in general um because i've been slacking on that eating breakfast like early in the morning so i'm trying to build myself back up to that which is i need to because i'm going to be having a lot of early mornings when i get back to school i think i got a 9 a.m class i just pray to god i ain't got no 8 a.m i don't think i got 8 a.m but i know i got a 9 a.m class i think all right y'all so i've officially been to ups and i'm sitting outside of my doctor's office right now and my booty is on fire y'all i did not know the boot the shot was gonna have to go in my booty she came in and she was like right or left i immediately said left because i'm thinking i'm right handed that's my dominant hand you supposed to get the shot on your non-dominant hand like i done had shots before i know that's how it worked so baby she laughed because of how fast i said it and then I guess she knew I guess she thought I knew it was gonna have to go on my booty cheek. So then I was still sitting down getting ready and she was like, Okay, just stand up for me and I said, Okay. And I said, I no, I said, Okay, it gotta go on my oh, it gotta go on my booty. And she said, Yeah, the needle's too big to go on your arm. I said, Too big. Then I'm looking, she was like, and I was watching her open and she was like, You looking for the needle? And I said, Yeah, but maybe I shouldn't look at it. And she said, Maybe not, and I and then I saw it and I said, oh, shit, I shouldn't have looked at it. So then I got a little nervous or whatever, woo but I turned around. She gave me a gown to cover my front because I wore this, not because I was thinking that, like, my arms are already out, but, like, I wore this and was like, okay, it ain't going to be that big of a deal because my arms is already out. But I didn't wear this outfit specifically for the shot. I wore this outfit for my hair appointment. So, yeah. So she do what she got to do or whatever. She rubbed the... the the thing and i'm getting nervous because i'm like god damn like i'm waiting on the i'm waiting like i'm waiting and baby i, I felt when the needle went in but y'all when i tell y'all i don't know if it's because my ass fat or if it's just because like the needle was literally like it, it's not just because i ass fat <laughs> like that's part of the reason but it's dead because it didn't like y'all when i tell you i've been pinched harder than that before I've been pinched harder than that. Like, that shot ain't nothing. But my booty cheek is sort of. That be is tender. My booty cheek is sore and tender. Okay, y'all. So, this is what the hair looking like. Your girl got some legs back there. But, um, I'm on my way. 
I'm on my way to my hair appointment now. It's 2.38. My appointment is for three. I'm on my way there now. Um, the nap that I took was fabulous. Um, and I was rushing and stuff because I woke up later than I wanted to. I woke up at 1.30 and I was supposed to wake up at 1.00. But I went to sleep later than I was supposed to, too, because my daddy had me doing um, paperwork. So, yeah. When I finally fell asleep, it was really hard for me to get up. But I needed that nap. Because I really be trying not to fall asleep when I'm getting my hair done. But it's something about... Why is that man driving through the grass? It's something about... Um, somebody in my head that just instantly gives me go on take your nap baby so okay y'all so your girl is back at the house and um it is I was about to look at my arm again because this bracelet makes me think that I have my freaking whatchamacallit on but I do not I'm in the bathroom right now it's like 10 15 um and I literally just got back to the house. She didn't braid as far down to the ends as I would normally like. I'm realizing and it kind of makes me want to curl these ends. But um, y'all, this is my hair. Your girl, girl did get the heart. Excuse the mess on my counter because I had to take all of that stuff out so that I would uh, pack it. But this is how long it is. It's how long we are. And she took videos, so if she ends up posting them on her story, I mean on her page or whatever, then I will um, post them in here. But here's the hair. She killed the y'all. Okay, y'all. So it's Wednesday, 6.43 in the afternoon. Well, in the evening. And this y'all first time hearing from me because I ain't have shit to talk about. This is the first time of the day that I got something to talk about, so that's why I turned the camera on. So, <clears throat> a couple of things are about to happen. One, I just got back from, uh, one, I went to Outback and I picked up um, food and then I dropped my brother off at his mom's house. And on my way back home, I stopped at Dollar Mania because I decided I'm going to add beads to this braid especially because it'll help weigh it down and keep it like from bending and stuff i'm gonna add beads to this braid and i'm going to wave curl the ends of the rest of them so yeah but first before i do that we're about to make butter <laughs> and to some, this may seem random as hell and like, bitch, why are you doing this? But if you know me, you know, this is the type of shit I do. Like this is, this is me as a person. This is the type of shit I do. So I have all of my, I have all of my seasonings laid out on the counter from taking it out of my um, bin that I keep my seasonings in when I go back to school. But so I'm having trouble finding counter space. But this to tea, y'all. I'm scrolling on TikTok as I usually do. Probably it was probably late at night. And um, y'all I've had this mixer for years too. I used to use it a lot. I used to use it a lot um when I first got it, but then I went to college because I asked for it for Christmas one year because I'm a baker. Like I love to bake. I love to try new recipes and stuff like that. Cook new recipes. I'm getting more into cooking new recipes now, but before it used to be I love baking new recipes. But that's neither here nor there. So I'm scrolling on TikTok as I usually do. It's probably late as hell at night one night. And I found a TikTok where a woman explained how to make homemade butter just by whipping 
heavy whipping cream and then putting it in an ice bath or something like that. Here it is. I'm gonna post it, but this is the TikTok. She got the same brand as washing colic as me, but just not the same. So let me see what she say. Y'all can't hear it because my washing colic in. Okay, she said she took some heavy whipping cream and she stirred it into her mixer until it started to separate. So here's my heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna tilt this down. I put the whisk attachment on it. Y'all can see that. Let me tilt it. Oh, y'all look, you can't see for real. Maybe if I put y'all right there, you'll be able to see a little better. So y'all can see the mix, not me. Cause who cares about seeing me, huh? So, she put it in there. She had hers on eight. So, that's pretty fast. That's what I'm gonna do though. it starts to separate the only thing is I don't have a cheesecloth to, to, to squeeze it so I didn't think that part through but I, I'm gonna just try to use a strainer and see what happens I'm gonna try to use a strainer So now it's looking like this. This turned into whipped cream. Now I turn it up a little bit. Does turn into whipped cream. So now it's thicker, so I just gotta keep mixing. Yep. It just, no, mama, it just, hold on. Let me get myself together real quick. Hold on. Let me get myself together. I just, it's, it's milk, it's buttermilk every fucking where, bro. It's buttermilk every fucking where. It's on my bag. It's everywhere, bro. I just made butter, bro. Like, stop playing with me. I need a spatula, a butter, because I don't know what my damn spatula is. I know, next time I'm gonna have this stuff ready, y'all. This is freaking butter, this is insane. I know, I thought I had time to get my life together. Do what, do, put my little, get my little bees ready. Yeah, I was gonna dip, go ahead and dip my hair. Okay, so now, I'm using this t-shirt to drain whatever buttermilk I can from here so now they really it's like two three dollars okay hold on I need to watch this the video to see how she like washed it washed it hold on okay so then she literally mashed it into the butter then drained the water and then made another ice cold water so she mashed the butter. I need something to mash with. Now I season it with salt.
Ain't it? <laughs> it's butter. That's so crazy. That's real butter. Y'all, I done did something to my camera that it won't close all the way. I don't know. So here's the vibes, y'all. I actually really love this. Cause I feel like the curly look with the bead is actually doing something for me. And she didn't really, she doesn't really braid down as far enough to the ends as I would normally like to. So doing the curls at the bottom really does give it a vibe. Yeah, that's what these are missing. Yeah. Mm hmm I just realized that I'm the only person, well, not the only person, but like, um, I'm the only person that knows when the launch date is. And the launch date is in. Today's the 17th. I launch September 4th. One week, two weeks. Four, so 14 days. Um, 15, 16, 17. The launch is in 18 days. And I'm the per only person that knows the launch. But that's okay because I didn't want to set it up to where I, um, like I didn't want my countdown to be too long. I haven't ate yet, y'all. <laughs> and I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes, but I'm about to now after this. Um, I didn't want my countdown to be too, too long. So I'm probably not going to announce. until a week before it's time. I'm probably not gonna announce until a week before it's time. I came back to say that editing my photos isn't turning out necessarily how I wanted it to because I didn't realize when I, and this is just the ups and downs and learning, trial and error, <laughs> still so funny to me. And I don't give up. So, um, I need to buy a new case because, wow. And my battery is also, I mean, not my battery, but, well, that too, but I probably don't have much storage left, so I'm going to make this explanation, I mean, get this explanation out of the way and then get to work, but make sure y'all hydrate. Um... So, what was I saying? Yeah, it's not necessarily, it's not really turning out how I wanted it to. The only photos that I have that I actually, like, they're top, they're going to be good, they're, or whatever, are the um, oil, photo, hair oil photos, because they're in that orange silk or whatever, that plain backdrop. That fabric backdrop really messed me over photo wise and I can't seem to remember how the hell I got rid of the like actually let me rephrase that I do know how to edit and get rid of the wrinkles and stuff like that but I didn't realize when I was taking these pictures I cut off I was cutting off the bottom stop focusing on me focus on the pictures I was cutting off the bottom the camera wasn't positioned correctly in a lot of these photos to show my entire feet and the entire bottom of the thing and stuff like that and um the the color of the backdrop isn't picking up the color orange that I would have wanted it to either so as far as I need to take a picture of the wig box just sitting as well. I need to take a picture of it just sitting regular. Okay, y'all, I haven't been, excuse the way I look, my scarf slipped out, like my scarf is somewhere in my bonnet. Um, But I haven't picked up this camera, I think since Wednesday, today is Friday. Yeah, I didn't pick it up at all yesterday, but we finna get this show on the road for today, baby. So today's vibes, 
um it's like almost 11 a.m or something like that around there right now and i'm getting ready but i just turned this on and i forgot that i need to get a new sims card so i'm gonna have to go to walmart first and get me a new sims card buy the water jugs that i need to get for my fountain and then um go get me something to eat um and i guess i'm gonna eat chick-fil-a because i don't know what else to eat and chick-fil-a will fill me up so we're gonna go chick-fil-a and then i need to go to the boardwalk and get my scrubs for my internship y'all so real quick because y'all know i'm always wasting up the minutes when i ain't got none a braid came out and it came out in this back row back here i don't even know if y'all gonna be able to see it but it came out of the back row back here and i expected it to because that hair back there like as y'all can see is so short that i almost told her when she was braiding it just to not even worry about putting any braids right there to be honest because i'm really not tripping on it and when i lift my hair up it's not so crazy that like i'm gonna be just super bothered by that little piece of hair i being out but um yeah i almost told her not to do it but um it came out but it didn't rip any of my hair out or nothing like that so i'm not tripping on it and i just took out this one as well i just took this one out too uh because it was hanging on by a thread and i wanted to pull it out before it uh took my hair out like i didn't want it to rip my hair out or nothing like that but i really like i was waiting on the day that it came out <laughs> to be honest because i knew it was going to because that hair is super short back there okay y'all so i'm back home um i'm actually really sleepy i didn't get a chance to stop and get a new um sims card because i'm just too tired so i haven't even went and got the water jugs either i stopped at my mom's house took a 30 minute nap woke up i wasn't so taking that from my mom's house like i just fell asleep <sighs> woke up and i'm just not whatever so i had to go through my old uh sims cards and find some that had footage on it that's like like i wasn't um, using or whatever so i could have a sims card because i just don't feel like buying one and if i go to walmart later today i'm just going to go in and get them jugs and leave i also didn't want to go and get the water jugs in my dad's truck because i would have to lift them up into the car instead of throwing them down into the car if i had my car so i'm gonna wait to and my daddy got my car right now because he took it to go get my windshield fixed and he just kept the car all day i took out the braid the last little braid that was on this row so this is what the back of my hair is looking like hopefully it doesn't look too too terrible because i'm definitely gonna still wear my hair up but it is what it is because i'm not gonna cut it off because i need it to grow out so it can be long enough to actually sustain my knotless braids okay y'all hey it's been like two days since y'all have seen me because i didn't take my camera out to film at all yesterday don't know if y'all can tell but obviously i'm back at school and i didn't film any of the moving process yesterday because it was just so much going on it was raining off and on yesterday and my little brother was here though so i'll insert clips of my dad taking pictures of my little brother at the pool but it was fun and stuff because he came down um with us and we moved everything in or whatever blah 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 I was very simplistic about everything that I brought. So, this is the setup of my room, just so y'all can see. Bed is over on this side of the wall this year. TV is here. Do do do. Just got my little chair there. Bathroom is super simplistic as well. Same little things or whatever, but I just don't have my what you call it there. And my closet is very simplistic as well. If y'all remember, things went all the way to the back of my closet. Like, yeah, it was it was a lot. But um, yeah, them the vibes. Um, it's just been really chill. The move in was great. My roommate is super 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 dope. We have so much in common. Her birthday's March twenty first so we're both aries like we just been talking chilling we actually hung out a little bit last night just talked and chilled like 
it's been a vibe we, we found out we have a lot in common so i'm actually super excited for this semester but i wanted to come on and just give y'all an update on what's going on and film the outro for this video because it's sunday so i'm actually in about an hour i'm gonna be heading to um uh, my little kiddo's house because i got a babysit um today um at five so i'm gonna it's 3 30 now i'll leave in about an hour to head that way no it's 3 50 now so i'll leave in about 45 minutes 30 45 minutes excuse me to head that way but yeah i went grocery shopping yesterday so i was able to um because my dad took me before he left so i was able to stock up on my groceries and all of that jazz i didn't get my water jug because we were kind of a little pressed for time and like beating the weather and stuff so i'll get my uh water jug tomorrow and uh get somebody either do my normal method of pulling it up or get somebody to help me bring it up but yeah um i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm gonna vlog next week only because it's not much going on besides me starting my new classes even though i do start like next week with um my time at the daycare my edges. let me lay my edges real quick lay my edge because that's the only little baby here god that's out um i do start my time at my daycare internship next week but like I, it's my first day in the lab is monday but the only thing is i mean it's wednesday not monday my first day in the lab is wednesday but the only thing is it's orientation week so it's nothing like super duper crazy so i and i'm gonna um text my other internship with the women's foundation i'm gonna text her my boss um tomorrow morning and let her know that i want to start the internship on um i mean yeah i'm gonna text her to start the internship on monday of next week so on the 20 something on the 20 something where's my other phone i had put it on charge there it is um on the 29th today is 21st so starting on the 29th hopefully y'all enjoyed this video um I'm about to end it off here. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn your post notifications so we can notify every time I upload a video. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. And when I get there, I will be doing a $200 cash app giveaway for winners $50 each. Y'all don't want to miss that. Um, and yeah, them the vibes. So I think that's all that I got to say. Stay tuned for the next video. I love y'all nation. It's your girl, Risha Tone Nate, and I am signing out.